all right so what is going on today youtube uh I'm going to be playing it's going to be a special video today so uh, that's why you see the length of the time on the video is because this is a special video today this is not one of my normal videos because i don't usually upload on uh a friday anymore i used to do it but i don't do it anymore uh, so yeah, man, uh, the deck you're looking at is a OCG deck that uh, my brother told me about or is pretty much on what's the name's channel on MCO 40s channel. I believe he does, I think, OCG deck deck profiles every week or, you know, some, I guess just some shit that he's seen uh, through the week or whatever the case may be. And he, you know, he does a deck profile on him. My brother seen it and said, hey, man, try it out. What do you think of it? Uh, initial thoughts, it, it's very shitty. You have only four synchros. It's just, it's literally, I guess, try to, it's kind of built to beat spirals, but literally does, I, I don't know, just doesn't seem to, too, too, I mean, as a zombie player, I, I definitely wouldn't play this deck, because it does absolutely nothing, because you literally only have four synchros, and that's the reason why I guess he plays two unit zombies, and like I've always said before, anytime I do play two unit zombies, I literally either draw both or somehow they get milled, like both of them get milled and it's just terrible. So I never played two unit zombies. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, man, the initial thoughts, I, I, I don't like the way the deck is or looks. If I was building the deck, I would possibly take out, definitely I'll probably take out this Gaia Saber, definitely take out Mrs. Radiant, but he does play Scapegoat. So I'm guessing that's the only reason, but um, I would definitely probably cut the scapegoat down to one uh, remaining twin twisters There's a whole bunch of shit. I would do to the deck, but like I said, I don't play in the OCG. I hate the OCG uh, <laughs> it's, it's just not my cup of tea, um, but yeah, this is the OCG deck So we're gonna try it out today. So yeah, stay tuned be right back with a duel Hopefully somebody doesn't quit halfway through the video all right, folks, so here we go with the first duel of the day. We have locks of rock, paper, scissors. Hopefully, we open up a ghost reaper. And we know we have not, but we have opened up a very fantastic can. This is double level eight, but we don't we only have one omega in the OCG because uh, uh spirals are just too good. Um, all right, so what are we playing against? Dragons Revene. All right, so we lose, folks. We lose because we didn't draw the 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 the, the 17 hand traps that we do run. Um, but he's only playing 14 extra deck card so it's either that he put in the wrong double helix or he's not playing that at all and he's playing fucking invoked with a dragon's ravine i guess that's what you want to do that's doesn't seem too good it really doesn't this seems actually awful what what's going on here did i just see that what was the point what what the hell was the point i don't know what those symbols stand for but what the fuck was the point why did you do that? Oh, that's actually really good. Oh shit! What did you do? Don't you search your odd eyes? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Uh, let me see. What does it do? Doesn't it? Uh, yeah. You could discard this card, add one level eight or lower dragon dragon pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, gains attack equal to. Okay. All right. So that's pretty good. So you must have what's the name in your hand. You have to. You have to. Because you literally could have did the same thing. Actually, you couldn't. No, he had to do it this way. Well, I don't know his hand. It depends on his hand. Because you could have. No, yeah, you you couldn't. You had to send wife. Yeah, he has invo invocation. That's cool. So what what was the point of this? What 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 the hell was the point of this then? Because you, you can't even go into what you're trying to do. But he can activate a uh, Riven to get that back. And I'm guessing he's going to, uh, so he has monsters in his hand. What do we need to top deck here? We have to top deck some good cards. What the fuck? What dragon pendulum are you going to be playing? Oh, that? Okay. It's very underwhelming, sir. Oh, there's an ash blossom. So let's see if we can get away with this foolish burial. I'm gonna send him a Zuki. See if he lets me. Let's see if he lets me. No, he's, he is gonna let me. All right, so let's send. Actually, shouldn't have did that. Yeah, I know what I should. I should have normal summoned this to tribute. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I thought he was gonna negate, but it's okay. Uh, we could just normal summon this and attack over that. Now let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this to start off the game. 
because we're not going to really have too much to do in the first place. Yeah, he's going to get rid of that. That's okay. Um, let's see. We're going to set this and we're going to set this. Now, what I should have did possibly with normal summon at the first place is start off with that and then uh, proceed to uh, foolish. No, I don't think that. Yeah, there's not really too much I can do anyways with this hand. Scapegoat is literally going to have to get me out of here. And we're going to Ash Blossom his summon. So unless he goes into a link, which I, I, I God forbid he does go into a link. Uh, I think we're going to take this young. If we're going to take this damage, we're going to take this damage. We're going to take this damage. He's only at 35. So we literally only need one clear attack. What's going on here? Okay. Well, people always quit in the middle of the game. And here we are back with the second duel of the video. And we're going up against a, a, a channel favorite. A channel favorite of Knight of Anai. This hand is actually pretty decent. Uh, it's very decent actually to be honest with you. And put that over here. And you know what? I have to be cautious of what's the name. I have to actually be cautious of fucking Jack Knights. Because people are playing it. Um, <clears throat> so I mean. I, let's say I don't understand the Twin Twister to start off with. Okay there's, a, there's that. That's getting MST'd immediately um, is it though I don't, I don't feel like I should I don't even know what the new fairy cards do so I'm pretty sure they're all counter traps so yeah it doesn't really bother me that he's setting we can just pop it with what's the name don't tell me you got a card of demise also that's just gonna be stinky alright this is the card I was talking about okay that's cool I don't once again I don't understand the, 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 the importance of uh, of setting two, I don't understand the importance of setting cards before you do stuff. It literally does not ever bode well for you. Now you can send an agent tuner. What? Oh, an agent monster. It's a tuner itself. There's that. Okay. Well, we're going to, uh, hmm. We can just Icarus attack right now. Pop these two and pop that. I think that's what we're going to do. Because for some reason you want to. You want to set all these cards for some odd reason. I, I just don't understand it. Uh, and then we're going to do you. And then that is going to go ahead and pop. Man, could just pop this. And that would be enough. But I feel like he's going to have some extra random shit in his hand. So we're just going to get rid of Sanctuary. Get, get rid of two birds with one stone. And then uh, do we want to even take this? No, we're not even going to take that damage. We're just going to bring those cards out. Not take any type of damage. And then be able to link summon. So... You know, I think Scapegoat is a very good card. Um, a lot of people are playing it in the OCG. Um, I mean, I, it's four free monsters. It protects you from dying. Um, and it also just gives you four free monsters. So that's cool. All right. So let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. What a top deck. Uh, so let's see here. We can just go Mrs. Radiant. We can go Link. Actually, we can go Mrs. Radiant into a Link Karibo, which is cool. Cause that's just fun to do um why didn't i use this it's this doesn't make any type of sense uh and then uh, let's do some of this uh and then let's send what's the name just target you uh what's in my graveyard um, suki so let's send you Oh wait, I should have sent what's the name that was that was a mistake oh shit and i made another mistake <laughs> i should have sent gozuki there's literally no reason not to send Gozuki. Literally no reason. We possibly yeah, we had game, I think. Yeah, this was no, we can't attack with Mrs. Radiant, but we could have did a lot of damage. It's okay though. I feel like we still got it. We we still got we still got some things going on here. I'm gonna pop that and I'm gonna hit you with the young 4500. So we're gonna leave you with 3500. So yeah, man, scapegoat is pretty bad, pretty good. I still don't like this deck. I still feel like this deck is ass. Because now once this dies, there's literally like Omega left. That's it. And watch him top deck a fucking Hyperion. I know he's gonna have it. They always have Hyperion. Every fucking time. Never mind. We win. Alright, another all right, so we're going up against your name, and let's see. Yes, we do win the rock, paper, scissors. Is anybody going to be playing spirals today? Because this hand is just absolutely trash, but I feel like we could, we could do it. There's people that's playing 48 card spirals, so I'm holding out hope. I'm holding out hope. I just want to see what... I mean, clearly this card is just, is just fantastic against the spiral matchup, but damn. Like, 
do we get to play spirals and what's cool what's really cool you're guaranteed to get this all first turn because they have to bring out two cards on the board which is you know just bad for them they have to and then with omega being in the deck i don't understand the importance of setting cards before you do stuff Oh, so he might be playing this. No, he's not. He can't be playing the same deck. There's no way. Uh, so let's see. I think I'm going to just let him do everything and strike his Omega because of that one. I just feel good about that, I guess. I still don't understand the importance of setting cards before you do anything. You know what? I can just Ghost Reaper his Omega. Y'all yeah, yeah, think that's funny? I think that's hilarious. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ghost Reaper his Omega. <laughs> I think that's just the funniest shit ever. I'm just that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ghost sweeper his omega and then and then Icarus attack him when he goes in his, oh he might be playing Bills, that might be a problem. Well, I'm gonna wait, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh I'm gonna check I, I get to check his extra deck, so right? Do I need to play his turn? You could uh Huh? Ooh, he might not be going to an Omega folks. He might be going into the Shogun Saga, but that's okay because like I said, wait, yeah, you check your extra deck, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So what does it say? Yeah. Don't need to play a turn. You can discard this card. Then look at your opponent's action deck. Yep. So no no need to chain with that. We're going to be calling Omega. And then we get to uh Huh? Okay, there we go. We get to look at his deck and he is He's not playing oh he is playing Omega. I was about to fuck. Wait, what's going on here? One, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's seven. Okay, so Shogun Saga possibly would have been a better hit, but it's okay because we do have the, uh, we do have the what's the name? And then we're going to do this here, and we're going to pop one and two. Uh, and then, once again, like I said, I would never understand the reason why you would set a card before you activate stuff so there we go so now he doesn't have an omega and i have an omega so that's cool and i have a strike just in case he decides he wants to have something once again uh, uh if you guys are watching do not set before you do up oh, there you go that's all you really needed so let's go ahead and activate that and i know he's going to be pissed off now because we're about to do some oh we're about to do a lot of damage here we're about to do a bunch of damage here Let's go ahead and get this back. Sadly, we don't have a card to just add zombies from, like, from your graveyard to your hand. That'd be so fucking good for us to have. So we're going to do this. And you guys can already tell where we're going for. We can possibly put game on board. Possibly. Um, so we're guaranteed. Uh, what's the name? We're guaranteed at least uh, 3,000. So we just need to put an extra five on the board. And we're going to send Gozuki. Gozuki's going to trigger. It's going to banish this spectral solitaire. It's going to bring us out our own uh, Mizuki. And I think that's the most damage we can do. Oh, wait, never mind. We're getting this card back. So that's the most damage we can do. Uh, I can go into a Shogun Saga right here, but then that ends my turn. I could just attack. That's, that's, yeah, we're, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to attack first because if we go Shogun Saga at the end of the turn, if we go Omega, we have the same amount because it's going to be the yeah, same board. Actually, we can't go Omega. Uh, I mean, we can't go Omega and Shogun Saga the first turn. So what we're going to do is go into the Baguska because for th that card is just really good in this deck. I'm really looking forward to the card. Uh, sad man, it wouldn't that be cool though if we get a card that says you know just add a zombie from your you know graveyard to your hand. Like when it's used for a synchro summon or if it's like, you know what I mean? Like, that'd be cool. That's, that's a good actual card. Or if it's sent to the graveyard because of a, a because of a zombie's effect, then that'd be kind of stupid. Yeah, this, if it's sent to the graveyard by, uh, to, for a synchro, I don't know. I don't know. It would have to be probably a link or something. Like when this card is link summon, that it, you know, it, it clearly requires two zombies, but <clears throat> this card is link summon, you know, add a zombie from your deck from your graveyard to your hand that'd be pretty cool so with this right here since we have omega and we know what we're playing against we definitely just want to do this oh my god do not have a spectral oh thank god 
Oh, that's his second uh, second unit zombie. Now, if he's just like everybody else, uh, he's not going to. I mean, he's not <clears throat> he is going to be playing only one. I mean, only two, so that should be his last one. But I'm pretty sure he's playing three. He's playing a pure sure new deck, so I could mend you your name. I could mend you for that. Well, we're going to the Babushka lady because this is. I don't know why I keep saying that. I keep saying that. Well, the TCG name is the Bab the Baguska, so that's that's pretty cool. And we literally have set up for next turn, so I feel like we just win this one. I feel like we do. <clears throat> this card is really good. All right, so we haven't played Spirals yet, but our Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries did work because we did play a mirror match and. Ghost Reaper in the mirror match is very, very good. Uh, let me check the time. We'll probably get one more duel before we go ahead and get out of here. All right, so we're only at 15 minutes, so we can get one more duel. Hopefully, we play against Spirals in this duel, so we can see what this deck actually... Oh, my God, this hand is ridiculously good. This shit is ridiculously good. Um, wow, okay. <clears throat> this Solemn Judgment really makes this whole hand. That's what really makes this whole hand. Um, yeah, this is just fantastic this macro cosmos can stop him from doing anything uh what what dude I, I hope you're not playing spirals or anything of the story because if you're doing that then you you're just a, you're you, you just i just don't understand you yeah we can literally set up a whole bunch of shit next turn that's that's just cool so yeah this this uh this macro cosmos is just very unfair right now we can go double yeah we can go double mrs radiant and just win I'm guessing that's what we can do. This MST it feels pretty good. It feels really good. But I mean, I think Cosmic Cyclone may be a little better because the fact that it banishes, uh, <clears throat> it depending on what you plan, you know, it could actually be, uh, it might it might be actually healthy to do that. So let's see what this man has. There's a there's a scroll pat Joker. That's uh, that's fine. We have a solemn judgment for all that. All that nonsense. So let's see what you're doing here. For all that nonsense, we have a solemn judgment for that ass. Are you playing the new Odd Eyes? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. You're complaining and you're playing pendulums. Okay. Okay, Mr. Man. That's what you're complaining. You're complaining. So double message radiant. There's a wisdom eye. That's cool. So let's go ahead and just use this Omega. Hopefully try to snipe a card out of his hand. Um, ooh, purple poison. Uh, it is yeah. Why did they change it from violet to purple? I knew it was this card too. Um, that's 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 completely fine. What do you do, dude? Really? Is that how we go? Just gonna go down? Is that how it's gonna go down? I don't even know what the fuck the card is. That's crazy. I'm sure. It says face up, right? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, sure, I'm just going to macro right now. I'm going to let that reason. Oh, yeah, I'm going to let him ride with that. I'm going to macro right here. So then he loses that. And then I'm going to chain this MST right there. Oh, my phone's going off. Hold on real quick. All right, so we are back. And it, uh, yeah, we're not going to chain anything. It's okay, sir. Uh, you can do it. I, like I said, I don't know what that unknown card does. So, I don't know if I should Solemn Judgment it or not. Um, yeah, I'm just going to Solemn I don't know what these cards do, so I'm just going to Solemn Judgment and get them banished. So, well, I mean, I guess. Like, what, what do you do? Um, I'll take this 18, and then, yeah, Mrs. Radiant. Yeah, this should be game. I feel like it should be. If it's not, then, you know, yeah, we're just going to do that. Um, nope. Bam, 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 and bam. We can go, yeah, double Mrs. Radiant. So that's, that's what's name. If we draw a Gozuki, that's just going to be, oh, okay. Well, that's, that's cool. I'm going to get this back. What, wait, what does he add back to his hand? Because I don't know what I banished. Wait, let's go back. And, okay, there's a final magician. Okay, let's go to real time. That's, that's just a good feature right there. Um, we can go Mrs. Radiant twice. Do we want to though? I feel like we should go Mrs. Radiant twice. Um, hmm. 
Yeah? Wait, why can't we go? Oh, this needs effect monsters, correct? Yes, it does. So we're going to just go to Mrs. Radiant twice. That's exactly what we're going to do here. Bam. Uh, that's, yeah, we're going to go to another Mrs. Radiant. And go bam. Then we're going to normal summon this. Then we're going to Mizuki. For another Mizuki. I mean, for another Unzami, let me see. That's 600. Uh, 600, 3,000, 26, and yeah, that's that should be game. Should be game. No need to chain. No need to use the effect either. So let's just go for game here. This doesn't do anything on his turn, so we're just going to attack. So yeah, man, Macro Cosmos. What a solemn judgment. Seems uh, very, very fine. Still don't understand. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, that's game. 48 and 26. That is 74. Yeah, 48 and 26, I believe I'm correct. 48 and 26. Yeah, yeah, 74. Um, so, yeah. All right, so, I mean, Scapegoat is very good. Still don't think the deck is very good, but, I mean, we, we, we did pretty good. We did pretty good with this one, man. Did pretty good. So, you guys, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's end, this, uh, end this duel right here. And then, once again, go over the deck profile once again. And then, uh, yeah, we can... Uh, go from there and be right back all right so yeah here we go again once again this is the deck profile that uh we have played today once again I, I don't i do not like this deck now if you guys play ocg you guys let me know what do you think of this deck do you think it's actually fine i just don't like the way it's built i really don't agree with a lot of the card choices um the macro cosmos i guess i don't agree with it i wouldn't play it the four synchros is really what like come on my guy like four like four i i can understand like you don't want to play a lot but four like you're playing dweller like what what does dweller stop i mean it kind of stops it actually does stop what's the name of it's it does kind of stop what's the name but like why would you go dwell over this you know what i mean like it's i mean this can't stop helix this kind of does stop helix but Helix can't attack over. Them. I mean, uh, it depends on the spiral player. But <clears throat> yeah, once again, uh, I, I, I just, I just, I guess, I mean, I guess this is how bad it is over there that you have to play shit like this. Triple macro, six fucking uh, Ash Blossoms, and what, I mean, six fucking, uh, three of these and three of these. We didn't, you know, we did get a chance to use this card. I feel is very good. This card, yes, we should main. Uh, for Until spirals get hit, you should just main three of these because you. Like I said, I mean, you can always find at least one extra slot that you don't really use, go to that often. Uh, if you can afford these cards, then sure. I, I would suggest you play it if you can't afford it. But these motherfuckers are seventy dollars a piece. I I would not I would not you know I would not sit here and say spend seventy dollars on this. Now, if you have store credit built up, or if you plan to actually play throughout the whole you know spiral thing, sure, go ahead and use these Ash Blossoms because. Uh, they might help you win and then if you get first place you can win 30 40 bucks you know what I mean then you just make your money back so all you have to do is pretty much win twice um, if you ha if you have a lot of locals around the area like me I, I have a bunch of locals around my area I could like technically go all week I mean go like pretty much what I think there's one on Monday Tuesday I think there's one every day I think it's like two or three days out of the week that you like literally don't know I know they're on the weekend Saturday and Sunday I can go to uh, two locals on Saturday with the same locals and then I can go to a local on Sunday So that's three locals from right there. I know there's a local on Friday and I know there's a local on Thursday, but I, I'm, I'm not I don't got time for all that shit so <laughs> We're not gonna be able to do all that But I'm saying if you guys have the money or if you really plan on playing You, you know, you're gonna win the money back or at least, you know, you're gonna be an avid attorney player definitely go pick up some ash blossoms but if you're if you're just paying casually or if you're just playing you know one local a week or two locals a week or something like that i, I would advise against it we get these why they're at ten dollars because these are going to sh just shoot straight up as soon as spirals drop because everybody's going to want this and everybody's going to want double helix in their deck and once you do this against you can do this against a spiral player and they can't do shit against you uh, if you're playing a mirror match if you're playing spirals you could play like i said you can play this card also so 
yeah man these are some two, two hand traps that are going to be seeing a lot of play so definitely be worried about that but besides that man we didn't draw a pot of desires not one game that is crazy that's really crazy but i, I like scapegoat tech i really do like the scapegoat tech but like i said it, all in all i don't like this deck it's not for me you guys let me know what you guys think about this deck and leave it in the comments below so yeah that is it for today and if you guys want me to do like one of these a month i can do that just get a random deck and play it and to see what happens but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did enjoy it and i will see you guys next week